What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top 10 player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do a fixed game every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays and every other day. I do whatever I feel like. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. And today I am playing a uh, five-player progressive game on Italy with one AI. I am in the first position. I have all of my material clustered in the uh, northwest. I would like to have some occupation here. It doesn't look like I will be able to migrate any army in that direction on the first turn. So failing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all of my troops to my furthest east position. I'm going to make the easy take that is given to me, and I'm going to consolidate in the top left corner. In the second, in the first position, we have myself. This is the alt feed account. Anything goes with 82 hours played, 129 wins, and 94 losses. In the second position, we have an expert AI. In the third position, we have Susanna Varghese from the Ukraine with 20 hours played, 5 wins, and 30 losses. In the fourth position, we have one of the one of my favorite risks, risk names I've seen so far, Dr. Van Nostrand from the United States of America with 23 hours played, 4 wins, and 71 losses. That is a uh, Seinfeld reference. Dr. Kramer was Dr. Van Nostrand um, as one of his alternate identities in the fifth position. We have A.J.J. Anderson from Sweden with 322 hours played, 152 wins, and 361 losses. Oh no, Dr. Van Nostrand, no. They pissed away all their troops right away. Uh, I guess he won't be living very long. Uh, and finally, rounding out, we have General Christalon, 8533 with 58 hours played, 12 wins, and 90 losses from Austria. Okay, so green is really bad. And they overattacked white. Now white gets a chance to counterattack potentially. So I might want to try and score this bonus. If I can pull all my forces into that. But also I'll have a bot next to me, so that probably won't work. Settings for this game are uh, world domination on Italy, auto setup 60 second turns, expert AI. Uh, progressive cards, balance blitz dice, no filtering of rank, no alliance, no fog, and no blizzard. Okay, Magenta has a majority position next to me, and they choose to roll the two stack. They're taking continent, so we have the continent breakdown in Italy, southeastern France worth four. Adriatic coast, which they just took, worth three. Ottoman Greece also worth three. These three territories of the Italian islands worth plus two. Peninsula, four territory, plus six. Northern Italy, four territory, plus five. And the big expanse of the Austrian Empire, if you can hold it, worth plus seven. All right, Magenta is trying to hold a continent in Italy, and they lo it looks like they have it pretty strong. Still want to go this way. And if I have to go around them, I have to go around them. Maybe I can go like that. That might be slicker. It's still two troops though. So I think it makes more sense for me to just hit here. I'm fine with the six stack. In uh, southern Italy. This positioning is okay. I have to wait and see what develops from the AI before I maybe have to pivot out of that continent. Yeah, the AI is going to attack the two, which means I do have to pivot out of that continent. So what's going to happen now, I play with a lot of bots, um, and what's going to happen now is the bot is going to prioritize taking this continent. So that six stack is due never be the last territory inside a bot continent. Um, know that your days are numbered if you are. So either I lose that six, or I make two attacks with it, or I get it out. And I think I'm going to get it out, but that's only a 
one turn solution because then it will be here and then I will be next to a bot continent which is a similar problem Green is in big trouble with only eight troops left Dr. Van Nostrand did not make a very good turn one attack they also put white on the back foot but they fall further behind. It looks like Magenta is going to hold their continent and get the extra plus three troops. It's not really the end of the world. I just have to do my best not to piss them off. Well, at least they finished their attack on white. And piss away their troops. It's not going to be a long game if Magenta is allowed to hold that continent uncontested. I was going to say the saving grace is that they were in a single position. We are playing progressive, um, but they do have external occupation on Sicily and they get their take. Whether they're going full grade and they're trying to take a second continent, that might be a, a smart move. Okay, maybe I take that continent instead. See what happens with that play. This takes the pressure off Magenta. Magenta will be allowed to expand here. Takes the pressure off the Black Bot. Black Bot will be allowed to finish their con, and that is a future problem for me. This might have not been the best play. Green is in trouble. Two cards, five troops remaining. Be easy to scoop them up. I'm not even really concerned with who gets those cards. Because that's just going to mean that they trade early and they get the lowest match. even be surprised if Magenta just decided to roll through me to break this bonus. Alright Green, you got your card. Stop attacking. There you go. I want to line myself up here to kill Green, I think. White is also in a bit of a sticky situation. They're, in a, they're locked in a single position in the far corner. So on my next turn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a take here with this stack. I'm going to put my additional here, and I'm going to make my fortify there. So I'll be in two positions. They're pretty close to each other. The bot's going to come out from here anyway, so I kind of need to defend. And then I want uh, that the, the move for my future turn is to move my stack to southern Italy so I can make attacks here in the late game get people's cards. Well, the trick to progressive is killing your opponents and taking their cards. It's not as important to hold continents but I took one because it, it serves the dual purpose of locking Magenta in a single position and um, leaving only the bot behind me. 
And I do get to hold this bonus at least for one turn, but I really need to move this stack away. Yeah. So now what happens is I'm, I'm surrounded by Lot again. And since I'm surrounded by the Lot again, I'm going to have to move this stack. Otherwise I lose it. Okay. Purple matches in early. That is a surprise. What do they do? Do they use those troops to break magenta? No, they use those troops to take a continent of their own. Okay, so this is something I specifically recommend you guys never do. Don't trade early, and if you have to trade early, use that trade to avoid dying or to kill an opponent. Don't trade for board position. Your cards are more valuable than the board position in progressive in almost every case. Green is down to six troops. They'll be at nine troops for three cards. I could eat them on my next turn, and that would force the six trade. So I'd have to kill nine troops to get six, to get eight. Right. The bot traded in as well. The match point is eight. Oh, but green trades in as well. Gets the eight. Okay, everyone's trading early. Quite, quite early. I feel like Magenta's going to deal with that. Puts in 16. Where does that 16 go? Does, do they try and kill white? They just go on a rampage. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I can deal with this. This is actually quite good for me. Don't go back. I would much have rather I'd much rather them be there. If there's just a bot behind me, I don't even have to worry about it. I can just let that bot take over the rest of the board because my kills are all here. White matches and gets the 10. White kills green, I think. No, they consolidate into a single stack in the corner. Okay, Magenta gets plus 6. There's 36 troops for holding that bonus now. They're looking pretty good. Is Magenta good? No, not really. Yeah, they think they have to break. Magenta's going to be board police? No. They're guarding their own continent. Okay. get a card. That's a miss. But that's okay. I'll let them discover on their own why. I'm going to get a take here, which leaves me exterior to that continent that the bot is close to taking. I'm going to move my stack and abandon my position in Corsica. Hopefully Sardinia survives. I can get those three troops out. Pocket 7. It's going to finish up here. I'm going to finish down here. Locks me into these islands. No, they break Corsica. Perfect. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This gives me um, either this gets opened or I get a road out. Either way, I will take it. We have a super strong bot occupying about half of this board. Italy is small. What do you have? You have... 36 territories. So it's very tight. Um, the game can go quick. A lot of early matches got traded in too, so... I'm holding five cards. The match point is 12, and I have a joker. Alright. Alright, green is a suicidal crazy person. What do I do with that? Not much. So I lose my exterior position. This is often a thing that um, will kill me in progressive if either of my opponents hit me now. White could kill me. White could go one, two, through the seven, and finish me. And take my five cards, and it looks like they see it. Or do they kill green instead? 
good. Die green. You're absolutely terrible. I love your name. Um, you are abysmally bad at this. I can't believe how awful you played. Um, if anyone is watching the show, take note of everything Green did. This game was wrong. And now they're dead. So, um, it would have been possible for White to kill me and take my cards. So that's a missed opportunity for White. Oh, and they stick themselves inside a bot continent. Interesting. White well, wanted to get away from the action now, unless... Manchenda can kill me, which is uh, low odds, but still possible. They put on the 9, go pop, pop, and then hook around like that. Yeah, how do you get to the 3 then, though? This is why I recommend you don't guard in progressive. So, what Magenta has done is they've let themselves hold this continent, but then they've made themselves unable to make kills. And the really important thing that you need to be focusing on in progressive, um, particularly on the 6th turn we are now on, is making sure you can make your kills, take your opponent's cards, and match in again, because that's what's going to get you way more troops than holding a continent. So who's the fish? Well, white has four cards. So what I do is I get my easy take, and I cock up in Sardinia, knowing I have a match. Maybe White doesn't trade. I can put in 15 extra here. They don't. They're going to hold. Yeah, bot continues. Let's see if White trades and eats me. It's a, it's me. It's basically I eat White or White eats me. Is is the sitch. Maybe they don't know that. Okay, purple rolls forty two and wins. Yeah, it's really it's really close for me. Either magenta or white could kill me. Um, but it's bad value, right? For three cards I'm holding i I'm, I'm I'm at twenty eight troops. So you wouldn't be net positive on the kill and then Either of those guys are actually nice kills for me to make, so let's see if White sees it and goes for me or not. We're pretty much in the end game now. If White doesn't trade in... see if a similar situation happens with magenta. Does magenta hold five? Can I eat them? All right, magenta's going to be holding five cards, it looks like. 47 troops, unless they do this thing that they've been doing, which is not getting a card. Match point is 20. No, they're holding 5 cards. Ooh, is that ever fucking close. I don't think I can kill them. What do you think, guys? Do I make the risky play? If 46 troops, I will be at exactly that. And then I have to hook through a 4 and a 2 and a 1 to get there. So it's it's not, not going to happen. I don't know what to do right now. I'm in trouble. Part of me says I should match in. I want to be here. And you know what? I really want to be there. So I'm going to go for that. 
I choose not to trade. I choose to hide in the Alps. I think that was dumb. I think either white or magenta will kill me. Probably would have just been better to get that take on Korska and stay here. This is no no more out of the way than here. Black finished the con and now they're now they're on Magenta's border. See, if I survive to my next turn I can make a kill, I betcha. Match point still twenty. this corner, line up the bot for magenta, <clears throat> unless they kill them themselves. Killing the bot? Yeah, good for you. Okay, this is really good for white. White kills the bot, trades in. Who dies next? Because now they're not positioned to kill me. But they have their full 60 seconds to find that out. I'm holding four cards. Magenta is two. Magenta's only five. Purple's holding four. I think maybe white sweeps? Okay, they take me out of the end, but they don't finish. Okay. If I was Magenta, I'd kill me. Magenta matches and gets the 25. I'm easy prey. Those four cards are right there. Magenta has been super passive, though. Do they keep guarding? Yeah, they're wasting they're wasting time. They're wasting time. They don't see the kill on me. Match in. Match in. No, they're still wasting time. Good, good. This is good. They won't kill me. They won't kill me because they're gonna trade late. This guy doesn't play progressive. They don't know they have five cards yet. Now they do. They got the attack screen. Now I have to put in more. And they're going to waste their entire turn in draft. Don't hit me. 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 Fuck. 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 I die. Damn it. Damn it. Ah. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah, so the thing that kills me in Progressive is the thing that killed me this game. It's what happens when I try my best to maintain two positions and one of my opponents uh, takes half of that um, for no reason, which Green did um, on turn four. So I lose this game. I was banking on um, my opponents not killing me and I think there was no right place, because if I was here, uh, white would have killed me. And as you saw, if I was here, magenta would have. So um, the correct decision would have been for me to trade on three and then try and outweight. So this loss was me getting greedy and trying to hold like, if you have the match on three and you're fragile, you should just trade in. And I knew I was fragile, so I should have done it. Let's see how this game finishes.
with a savvy move by White, leaving his two opponents' large armies next to each other and setting up his own big one. Magenta is next to trade. They can potentially eat uh, purple, but they play very slowly, so it doesn't look like they will. Very risky for Magenta. If White had left their stack accessible, they could eat Magenta and take the five cards. puts in 17 for having most of this board. What's the match point? Doesn't show me, right? I can't look at cards anymore. Do they break? Yeah, they break Magenta. Magenta's going to have five cards. I'm going to have a big punch. I think White is just taking as much of the board as possible. Yeah, and they put to see. Don't do this either. You're you're not guarding shit. It's the late game of progressive. You're supposed to be eating your opponents and ending the game. He's guarding with a seventy-seven threat stack that he says, "Don't open me." to open some. It's going to break all his bonuses. Any of these players any good? I think the white player is probably the best. Yeah, the white player is the best. White player is going to win. Looks like they're going to feed the kill to purple, though, so maybe not. Oh, this is so boring. I'm going to do the sign-off now. I'll let the game run to its conclusion. If anyone's interested to watch the finish, I don't particularly care to watch bad, slow, progressive players uh, fight each other in the end game. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun, uh, entertaining, maybe not as informative, because I think I could have played better, but here we are. If you are interested in getting better at the game first, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do a fixed game every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays, and every other day I do whatever I feel like. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.
Gives them the good game. Look at that. Gentlemen, to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you all next time.